started with today's webinar. In this webinar, we're going to be discussing how to free yourself from media dependency, basically how to not be a crybaby or a victim that's dependent on Facebook, on Google, uh, on the various social media platforms uh, where every single owner of a digital ad agency or production company gets stuck. We're gonna discuss how to build a process that works on autopilot that's yours, that you've built for yourself that will help you generate as many leads as you want for your business. That will be the growth engine for you to be able to fully control your business's growth. We're also going to be discussing how to make that process scalable, consistent, effective, and most importantly, work on autopilot. So before we get started, just wanted to let you guys know uh, you have a chat box here at the, at the right of the screen. You also have a place for questions at the bottom. Feel free to ask me any questions that come up. We'll stop every few minutes to take care of questions uh, and feel free to chat uh, if there's anything that you'd like to say or ask. Uh, I will be responding to these throughout the call and at the end of the call, uh, we'll be having a, a Q&A session. So if anybody wants to have a bit more of a comprehensive dialogue, then you can just wait till the end. This is gonna run for, uh, I would estimate about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Uh, and I guarantee you this will absolutely change the way that you do business. It will change everything about the way that you run your business, run your marketing, about your philosophy regarding marketing. It will make you not dependent on all of these uh, uh, terrible uh, uh, dependencies that people currently have. Almost every single business owner that I talk to, you know, is stuck on either Facebook ads or Google ads or SEO uh, or, or blogging. And these are their only ways to, to basically try to grow their business, you know, or referrals. Uh, and we're going to talk about how to completely disconnect from that, build your own ecosystem uh, that's completely yours and is going to allow you to create whatever size of business you want. Now, first of all, uh, who am I and why am I even qualified to talk about this? So my name is Robbie Frank. I've been an entrepreneur for about eight years now. And throughout my career as an entrepreneur, I went through insane ups and downs. Uh, I've always been a 10x fan, as you can see. I've always been the crazy guy that just had wacky ideas and always tried to push the limits. And my entire life, I've looked for the holy grail when it comes to scaling, when it comes to growing my business fast, when it comes to being in control. That's why I've always, even though I've had a knack for digital marketing, for Facebook ads, and I've always been good at it, I've always been more attracted to things like cold calling. And I wasn't really sure why. And over the years, I figured out why. And this skill, cold calling, and by the way, which we're not going to be discussing in the webinar, but just as part of my background, uh, this skill, along with the other skills that I'm going to mention on this uh, webinar, have allowed me to basically never have an income problem in my business, to always have as many customers as I want, where for me, unlike many other business owners, my main problem in business was always how to handle all of these clients, how to build a business that grows and scales properly uh, without breaking. So this is obviously very different than the reality that most business owners face. Most of them face the reality of stagnation, of being afraid to lose clients, of not feeling confident on a sales call, not feeling confident presenting their product or pitching it to people. Heck, I, I talk to about 300 business owners every month. And I can tell you that 90% of the business owners that I talk to, and I'm not even saying like, like a roofing contractor or a lawyer, I'm saying digital marketing agency owners, people who, who do marketing for a living cannot even pitch their product properly. And we're going to be discussing all of this today. And truly, truly, I'm here to change your life. You know, there's an offer at the end. There's always an offer at the end, but I can guarantee you, I'm not selling you a course. There's no digital product at the end. The only thing I'll be offering you is a limited time chance to work directly with me, which is something I have not been offering for years. So there's nothing that I'm going to save from you here. You're going to learn every single thing that I know, uh, at least as much as I can cover in this short video. And I'm going to give you a quick introduction into where I came with this knowledge, my, my insane story over the past six months. So uh, about six months ago, me and my partner opened up a company called Primatica. And our initial decision was to open a company that would deal with automations, that would help business owners uh, automate parts of their website, 
automates uh, things that their employees are doing. Uh, basically, a company that helps people with efficiency. And right off the bat, I knew that the way I wanted to market this company was using cold emails. The reason for that is a friend of mine who happens to be a client today uh, basically grew an SEO company right in front of my eyes from zero to about $250,000 in monthly recurring revenue over just two years. And he did that without spending a single dollar on ads. And the process that he used was very simple, actually. He would basically email somebody that he didn't know, somebody who was in his target market. Uh, he would then offer to make them like a video that shows how, like an, a competitor analysis for how they can basically uh, beat their competitors in the SEO game. Uh, the people would watch the video, they would get on a call with him, and he would sell to them. So he, he built, uh, again, a $250,000 a year business while spending almost $0 on ads, maybe just retargeting. Uh, and, and the confidence that he had and the, and the speed in which he grew is really what fascinated me into this strategy and made me want to try it for myself. So I started off with uh, emailing people myself. I basically uh, found businesses online that fit kind of the, the, the type of what we were looking for at the time. I would send them an email. I would say, hey, you know, I saw some stuff on your website. I'd love to make you a quick video analysis. And people would generally reply and say, yeah, sure, I'm interested, send me the video. And I would send about 100 emails. I would get about three or four replies. And out of those, uh, usually about one of them would actually go on a call with me. Now, we started off with that. And when I was just sitting, you know, we didn't have the money back and then to, to delegate, to hire employees, uh, to hire programmers or anything. So uh, I just did it all myself, basically. I would sit down in the middle of the night. I would just look for leads online. Uh, I would basically search for a company type, like for example, roofing contractor, and then just to the location. And I had like a spreadsheet for that. Uh, so for example, roofing contractor in Houston, Texas. And what I would do then is I would add every single company that I find to a CRM. I would then email them personally, just type out the email. Uh, and this will basically take me about eight or nine hours of my time to find about 100 to 200 leads and then message them all. Uh, by the way, if you guys can hear me well, please make sure to give me a comment in the chat. If you can't hear me, let me know uh, just in case. Uh, but let's continue. So thank you so much. So uh, we started off doing that. Now, um, again, I, I realized it's stupid. I realized there's really no point in me doing that over and over and over again. Uh, but also hiring somebody to do that felt like really, really stupid at the time. Uh, because why would I pay somebody thousands of dollars just to do some manual work? And I happened to have a bit of a background in Python programming. And I said, hey, why not maybe build a robot that goes online and basically does the exact same thing for me and then takes these leads and put this, puts them in the CRM automatically. Uh, so I would basically feed it with a list of industries and a list of locations. And it would then look for them manually. So literally, like, go click, 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 open up the website, grab the, the email, grab the phone, uh, and kind of build me a database like that. And I did that. And I was like, whoa, that's cool. And that saved me like four or five hours a day. And it was about five or 10 times faster than me in the same amount of time. So I was like, OK, we've got something here. Uh, and then uh, the second thing I, I started to realize was, hey, why am I sitting down and basically copying and pasting emails and personalizing stuff when maybe, maybe I can also automate that. And so I tried that and it took a while because Google did not like automating their email sending and we had CAPTCHA problems and login problems and we had to learn about G Suits. It was a very, very short but very arduous process. And suddenly we've had a system that basically took what I did, which worked, uh, which was uh, finding businesses online and sending them a personalized email. And it worked completely automatically. So basically, we took eight hours of my time and created a robot. Now, that robot did not cost us money. It worked on my computer. It would send out about 100 emails per day. And it would just work. And I showed it to the person I talked about earlier, the owner of the SEO company. And he said, like, I just sent him like a video sh screen recording of the system working. And the moment he saw it, he just called me and he said, like, we need to work together. I'm going to pay you. Like, what, what do we need to do to move forward with this? I want this now. And that's when I realized that we've built something special. So funny enough, as, a, as an automation company, 
we've built a tool to market ourselves and ended up saying, whoa, we've just built the perfect product or service. So um, long story short, uh, six months later uh, from this, and again, six months, I'm saying from the moment we just got started from zero, uh, we're now at over 50 customers with about half of that time, not even war not even marketing ourselves, like half of the time, just building the system, making it better and better, working on it because the fast, we grew so fast, we actually had to stop marketing for about two full months of the company's lifespan. So 50, when I say 50 companies, I don't, 50 cu customers, I don't mean 50 customers that pay us $50 a month or $100 a month. I'm talking about people that commit to pay us $2,000 a month uh, for our system. And we also grew to about 20 employees in, in literally three or four months. And we did that uh, while building the system, while uh, kinking, while fixing the bugs, while while thinking about different strategies, realizing what we're supposed to do. Um, and we did that because we've managed to build a cold outreach process that, as the webinar describes, is, is consistent, automatic, uh, efficient, scalable, um, and and it just works. And we reached points where I would turn on the automation and I would just send emails for five days. And I would literally get 30, 40 companies scheduling calls with me uh, in those three, four, five days. And I would close about 10, 12 of them. So the, the results were absolutely insane. And that was like the holy grail of, of what we were looking for in terms of our service. Uh, we were obviously our best clients. And, and to this day, we use our system to do anything we want and, and basically are able to uh, reach anywhere from 2,000 people a month to 3 million people a month, like the, the, the scalability is, is perfect. So here's, this is where I'm at. This is where the webinar is, is being taken, taken place in terms of my progression, me as a business owner. Uh, I've talked to hundreds and hundreds of business owners in the past two or three months uh, and am going to share with you the, the actual strategies, how we did that, how you can do it in your business, not just using our system, how you can build your own system uh, that's going to save you all the money you're spending on on advertising uh, that's going to give you control and, and, and we're just going to get into that right now so why would you want to build a system like that what are the benefits uh, and there's so many there's countless benefits but i've just picked out like five benefits that i think are, are stand out immediately as the best ones so first of all uh, i've always been big on being at the cause not at the effect taking the initiative uh, anything that i respond to i always considered as less good than something that i initiated so I would literally prefer to contact somebody and have them say no, than have somebody contact me and get them as a client. And the reason is I did not create that. And the fact that I did not create it, I did not initiate it, means that I don't have possession of it. I don't have control over it. I don't feel like I own it, like I did it, which means I can't really replicate it and I can't multiply it. So I've always preferred to be at the initiative. And by building a system that does outreach, meaning I'm not waiting for them to come to me, I'm coming to them, uh, you're always at the initiative. You're always at the cause. The other benefit is that it allows you to pick your targets. So what does that mean? It means that because you're the one who's choosing, uh, you're basically able to choose who you contact. And that has so many benefits. And I'm going to explain them in a moment. But just to name a few, uh, imagine that when somebody comes to your website from SEO, from a Facebook ads campaign or a LinkedIn email campaign, you can't really know who they're going to be. Uh, basically, somebody's going to contact you. You can't control the variable, so you don't know who's coming in. On the other hand, if you're a marketing agency that works only with roofing contractors, you can literally target only roofing contractors in only certain places and only of a certain size. And you can literally create the process where every single person that says yes is the exact person that you want. And this leads to consistency. Now, consistency is the holy grail of scaling. And the reason is because I've been able to control which type of leads are coming in using our system, I've been able to start predicting what's going to happen. Because when you have hundreds of people scheduling calls with you and every single call is the same because you're scheduling calls with the same type of people, the same industry or the same locations or the same company size, you're then able to quickly learn how to really do a good process. And because again, every call is the same, you use the same process every time. You don't have to try a new thing every single time. 
so what that leads to is you'll say something like one way and then you'll say it a different way on, on the other call and you say, oh, that worked better and oh, that worked better. And just naturally you'll start building a process that just works. And the way that we've really maxed that out, just to give you a, a tiny example of what I'm going to explain later, uh, we've actually been able to take the three to four minute demo video that we use to schedule calls with people. And I've literally been able to take my sales call turn it into a 20 minute demo presentation and basically just send it to people right off the bat. So we'll email them, they'll reply and say, yeah, I'm interested in learning more. We would send them a video and I would get people who have literally watched a 20 minute video, which includes uh, the overview, the pricing, how it works, how to get started, questions and answers. So by the time they actually get on the phone with me, they're super warm, they're super interested and I have about 40 to 50% closing ratio with these kind of leads. Imagine that, being able to email somebody you don't know and being able to get a 50% closing ratio on a cold email on a sales call. This is the type of power that you can get using our system. Now compare that to what you'd get on a Facebook ads platform or a Google ads platform and you'll start to see the difference. Another huge, huge benefit, and I'm actually gonna go a bit beyond what I wanted. So instead of five, we'll do six is that if you build a proper cold outreach process, it's actually scalable. So the problem with most other processes is that they're not scalable. When you're dependent on inbound marketing, so Facebook ads, Google ads, stuff like that, like you cannot scale it. You cannot scale SEO. You cannot scale Facebook ads. And the problem with that, and you might be saying, oh, of course you can, you just increase the budget. But the problem with that is, if it was so simple and you could just scale it and just get the same amount of results, like 10x the amount, the money, 10x the results. If it was that simple, uh, it would just work. But why haven't you done that yet? So if you get a good ROI on your ads, why haven't you scaled them 10 times? And the reason is if you scale it 10 times, you're going to get about two, three times the results. And the reason for that is because you're competing with other people. And these companies do not have an interest for you to scale your campaign. I know it sounds like, oh, why wouldn't they have an interest? The reason is they prefer you to either invest a million dollars a month because you really don't care, you're a huge brand, or just have a lot of small clients. They don't want a client that kind of shoots up the ladder and that's gonna always cap you. That's why only about 1% of, of the ad campaigns that generate revenue actually manage to survive scaling to 10X or 100X quantities, unlike a cold outreach system, which would all, always survive the growth. Another huge benefit, and we're really almost done with this, and now we'll move, and then we'll move on to how to actually build the process. So another huge benefit is that you have full control over the process. You can literally dictate every single part of the process. You're not beholden to Facebook or Google to tell you what you can or cannot say. And I mean, I've seen ad accounts that spend $50,000 a week get banned for no reason, because they don't care. And, and that cannot happen to you if you have a process that you've created that is yours because you're not beholding to anybody. You're not dependent on anybody else. Which leads me to the final benefit is being your own master, being able to control your process and being able to really, really uh, do what you want to do. Uh, if you guys have questions, feel free to write in the chat, feel free to write in the uh, questions below. Uh, I'll go over those soon. Uh, but now uh, I wanna actually get started with you and I wanna discuss how to actually uh, build this process, what you can do uh, to actually create a process that's going to allow you uh, to, to, to do this amazing thing that I'm telling you about. So in order to build a process, there's a certain number of steps. And anybody who's attending this call, I'm going to send you the entire thing, like the whole summary, so you can go over it at the end of the call. Um, first step you need to do is to build the process. And the way you build a process is you decide on an end goal. And by the way, for this part, we are going to now transition into kind of a uh, a, a viewing mode so I can draw for you. Uh, and this way I'll be able to kind of demonstrate. So first of all, you wanna start with an end goal. So the end goal is basically, where do I wanna to get to uh, with my results? So for example, my end goal is, uh, I wanna have a client that pays me $4,000 every single month uh, and is from this industry and gets these kind of services. So you must, first of all, uh, decide on an end goal. Now, the next step, you wanna hypothesize the actual process. So the way that you hypothesize the process, and let me kind of put that here uh, to make it very, very easy for you to, to read it as well. So the way that you hypothesize the process is that you want to kind of sit down and say, okay, 
what would a process like that look like? What would a funnel uh, like this look? What steps does a person need to take in order to reach the end goal uh, that I'm striving to get to? So let me kind of explain to you how you want to build your process. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a good data gathering process. So the data gathering process could be anything from, for example, uh, going to basically building a spreadsheet. Uh, imagine a spreadsheet where you have uh, here, you have uh, a bunch of cities. So for example, uh, you have here uh, Los Angeles, you have here uh, New York, uh, and then Houston, basically a bunch of cities. And here you have a bunch of industries. And then what you do is you do a search for the city plus the industry, and then basically grab all of the results and put them in a spreadsheet. So for example, I could be looking for a uh, roofing contractor uh, in Houston, Texas. And then the end result would be that I would get here a lot of roofing contractors. Now, the way that you wanna really know if you're looking at a listing website or a good website is based on the arrows. If you see these arrows, it's usually a listing website and you wanna avoid it. Uh, these websites are good. So you wanna really look for websites uh, like this. And basically you go into the company, you go to contact us, you collect their information. And we're gonna talk later about optimizing, about delegating, automating. We're gonna talk about, about all of that in the next few minutes. Uh, but again, first step, uh, you really get just the information you need, the email, the phone number, based on the process you're building. Uh, but at the very minimum, uh, you wanna get the company's name and the company's email and the industry. So uh, you build a process that has data gathering. Now, the next part is you wanna build your approach. So the approach is what's called like the, the bait. Uh, this is where you find a way to approach them in a smart way. Now, the approach could be anything from sending them an email. So basically uh, sending them an email like, uh, hey, I saw your company uh, and I noticed there's something on your website that you could improve. Uh, it could be a cold call. Uh, it could be approaching them on LinkedIn. It could be a Facebook approach. And I've really seen everything. I mean, I've seen everything to, to the point of like, I've seen companies where their inner, their inside approach is to basically contact the business owner for a consultation, like actually pretend to be a client. Uh, and then, uh, which obviously only works with a non-local business, but I've literally seen that happen where I've had uh, people that I've worked with and coached that are sales trainers and would literally go on sales calls with companies, uh, which would basically just guarantee them the meeting. And then on the actual meeting, uh, they would then add value and actually turn the, the prospect into a client, uh, the, you know, from them being a prospect to the other person being a prospect. So uh, again, first part is uh, the scraping. And again, you don't need to do that with Facebook. You can do that with LinkedIn. You can do that with Google. You can do that with Facebook. It really depends on your targets. And again, we're going to go into questions and answers uh, very soon. Uh, the next step is you want to add value and basically uh, give them the bait. So value slash bait. Now, the way that you do that is you one, one of the best ways is it could be a demo video. So, for example, you could record a video for them uh, that would basically get them really, really interested. So a simple screen sharing video uh, that kind of presents your personality. Another way you can do that is a free call uh, where you can give them some uh, value. You can go over some stuff that's important and valuable to them. And another type that's actually very interesting, and we've worked with companies like that, and it has been fantastic, is just really an amazing front-end offer. I mean, I've worked with companies, uh, for example, a company that we've been working with for about two and a half months uh, called Otter PR. Uh, just so you see them, I'm going to give them a small... Uh, uh, small signal, small uh, ad here. So this company uh, basically says, look, we'll give you, we're the best PR company in the world. Uh, we charge this much, but we guarantee your publication. So we have a hundred percent success rate and we guarantee that we're going to get you the results or if not, you get your money back. Uh, basically the world's best offer. And you know what they, what people don't really know is that they're extremely picky, uh, but uh, they've been using our system and they've basically been beating everybody in the amount of leads. And the reason they've been doing that uh, is because they have a, a better process, a better front end offer than almost anyone else because uh, the front end offer kind of sells itself. I don't need to give you free value because the front end offer is so bold. It's so courageous and takes so many risks uh, that basically it's, you know, it's very hard to say no to. 
Now, uh, let me go back and continue. Uh, another company, by the way, that we work with uh, is a logo company. I'm not sure if they're uh, willing to have me uh, give out the name. Uh, it's, a, it's a company that does uh, custom branding. It's one of the best companies for that in the entire uh, market of North America. Uh, and what they're offering, is, because they work with large companies, is we'll design your shirts for free. Like we have the best technology in the world. We'll give you a free custom tailored design and send a sample to you for free. Obviously, they're getting a ton of leads and it just it's working amazing. So again, you have the, scra the scraping process. Uh, which you can use any kind of uh, service that you want. Uh, then you have the, uh, the the value, the bait. You actually get them to uh, come to you. And again, the idea is I come to you. So I actually, I approach you. Uh, if, if this is the target, uh, I will be the one who approaches you. Uh, but when I approach you, my goal is to have you come back then uh, to me. So I approach you but you need to come back to me. So it's about attracting. It's not about pushing towards the person and forcing yourself on them just about getting them interested enough so that they'll come back to you. Uh, now, the next step is you move them up the ladder and you qualify them. So let's say that you had a short call or they watched the demo video or they applied for the front end offer. What you then want to do is you want to have a good, good qualification process. And let me show you a quick example of the way that our uh, qualification process looks. Somebody wants to schedule a call with us. Uh, it's a 15 minute call. If he even wants to schedule a call, he needs to fill this entire form. I need to know how much money they're spending on ads. I need to know how much money they're able to invest in case they are interested. Uh, I want to know some extra details about them so I can say no at any point. Uh, this is a good qualification process. And of course, every company has their own qualification process, which is a critical, critical part of the process. And finally, then you get the sales call where you really want to make it perfect. You want to have the the, the, you start off and you kind of, obviously you're gonna maybe blunder in the first few, uh, but once you get good at this, or if you already know your target market well, uh, you're gonna have an insane rate of success. Now, a couple of quick tips for you. So uh, you wanna be following up uh, relentlessly with people. So whenever you finish a call, no matter what you do, make sure that you send them a proposal at the end. No matter what, a good call, bad call, send them a proposal. Because if you had not sent them a proposal, they literally have no way of saying yes or getting started with you or anything of that sort. So they cannot move forward. There's a 0% chance. Uh, then what you wanna do is you wanna follow up. So create reminders, either using your CRM or your phone or whatever way that you use. Every week you wanna check up on them. And the types of messages that you wanna be sending are simple, simple messages like, uh, hey David, just wanted to quickly check up on how are you doing? Or hey Alex, uh, how are you moving forward? Or hey uh, Max, is there anything else that we need to get started? Just quick, small messages. Uh, and, and really that type of value offering uh, would get you insane results. I mean, I've closed about 10 deals in the past two, three months just from people that, you know, they, we have sent them a proposal, had a great sales call, and then just send them an email like two weeks later, hey, are we moving forward? And then the person like wakes up and they're like, oh yeah, you know, let's do it. And then you just have them as a client like that. Uh, one final tip regarding that also, at the end of each call, make sure to let the prospect know if you need any more information, if you wanna, if you have any second, any doubts, any second thoughts, let's do another call. I'll be happy to do it. Offer it from, from the beginning. Uh, my motto is I want you to think about it. You know, I have a very special selling style, which is also part of what I teach, uh, which is actually super relaxed, uh, super light, uh, where nobody feels pressured. And still I have a 40% closing ratio. And I do that because I just shower the prospect with love, with attention, with support. I never pressure them uh, in a way that doesn't feel extremely natural. And then the, the result of that is that you're building a process together. And again, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video, which we're probably gonna do uh, one day in the future, another webinar. So that's step one. Step one, uh, building the process. Now, let's say you've started that, you've kind of built the process, you have an outline, you got started and you know, you, you scraped some leads, you started uh, sending some emails or making some calls or scheduling a call with them. And again, you really wanna test out a bunch of different things. I have gave that, that example really on purpose of the uh, sales trainer guy that would literally uh, book himself in sales call with companies because he's a B2B sales guy. What does he care? So, you know, he just does a sales call with them and he treats it as their demo. So they give him a sales call and say, oh, it wasn't good because of this and this and this. And then the prospect, Usually, you know, if they're really not good, they'll be like, oh, really? Tell me more. And at the end, they'll pay him. And he actually did that to me, by the way. 
uh, which <laughs> just shows you that it does work amazing. Uh, once you actually are able to find the right person and give them a lot of value, uh, the whole script changes. So again, the whole process is you email them, there's a bait in there, so you, they come to you. So you don't need to push them, you don't need to qualify yourself, you're not pushing, you're not trying to force yourself. They're saying yes to you, they're coming at you and to you. Uh, then you get on the call or email or video, and then you give them enough value so that they come to you again. So again, it's about attracting, it's not about forcing. Uh, then step number two, you wanna test and optimize. So uh, first thing you wanna do, uh, you wanna make sure that you're doing, is you wanna make sure uh, that you're measuring everything, like literally measure every single thing that you're doing. So the reason you wanna measure everything uh, is because if you don't measure everything, then you don't know what's not, what's not working. Uh, you wanna make sure that every single part of the process uh, is really, really fine tuned and you need to find your bottlenecks. So let's say you have the process and then somewhere in the process here, there's a huge tightening. So the funnel kind of goes like this. Uh, it goes like this, there's a lot of emails being sent out, you're getting uh, a lot of people interested in replying, but then you actually send them the video and uh, it, it shrinks down uh, to a tiny, tiny amount. Now, that could be because you have a really special offer, which is a completely different scenario, uh, but assuming you don't, uh, if this happens, then you know this is where your bottleneck is. And where your bottlenecks are, this is where you wanna spend all your time uh, because you wanna get to a point where the entire process just works uh, perfect. Because when you get to this point where every single part is just flowing and is good enough, not even perfect, just good enough, uh, you're gonna be making more money than you've ever made while spending less money than you've ever spent on advertising or delegation or automation. Now, uh, once you've done that, uh, you wanna really make sure, so just to summarize uh, one, one final point, uh, again, find the bottlenecks, try everything yourself. So keep trying until you figure out everything and keep numbers. So obviously you wanna have numbers, how many people reached this point and this point and this point and this point. And a really easy way to do that, by the way, I can show you a quick example of, uh, of a CRM that we used to, to work with. Um, I still have it just to give you an example to people you wanna have a process. So for example, uh, we have an inbox, meaning people who came to us, we have people who replied to our video, people who watched the video analysis, who got the video analysis, who watched it, who scheduled a call, who were qualified, who got a proposal, who we're currently negotiating with. And then with this process, you can actually break down where everything is working and things are not working. And by the way, this is really outdated. Uh, this thing is from like uh, three months ago. And I can tell you that at least 15 names on this list are currently our clients. So um, this is how you do the test and optimize uh, part of the process. So that's step three. Uh, step number four, you wanna delegate and automate. Now, what does that mean? What does delegate and automate mean? So most people think that there's only uh, one type of way that you can uh, uh, make a process more efficient. So basically you need to delegate it. And how do you delegate it? Uh, oh, you hire employees, usually uh, somebody from your local area, uh, and it's an employee and you have to train them and you have to pay for their insurance and you have to pay for their uh, uh, health benefits and they complain and it's a communication cost because they'll talk to you all the time and they're next to you and you don't like their breath. Uh, it, it's, it's a super expensive process. That's why most companies, they don't even delegate or if they do, they have like two or three employees. Uh, that's one thing that they do. And then the other one, the other kind of side of the of the coin for them is they have uh, automation and they think, okay, automation, it's either super complicated and I'm not going to do it or only a programmer can do it and it's going to cost me a lot of money. So this is not, uh, this doesn't cost a lot of money uh, and it's not correct. You can actually easily automate and delegation can be super simple, super cheap. And uh, I'm going to explain exactly why and how right now. So um, you can actually delegate by using cheap labor. And me and my partner really perfected this and reached a point where we have a staff of about 20 people that cost us about as much as three or four US-based employees would cost. Now you might be saying, oh, this is probably crap, right? They're working with unprofessional people, like people that are really stupid or, 
or not very good at what they do. No, we work with absolute insane professionals. We work with developers. Uh, we work with beautiful design artists. We work with salespeople, marketing geniuses. And all these people are basically, we're able to get by by paying them uh, about 20% of what you would need to pay a regular US-based employee. And we've really built a process to find these people uh, in, in literally a matter of days. So we reached a point where we're able to find somebody like that in about two, three days, qualify them, get a ton of people into the bucket, uh, get them qualified, end up with up from 200 candidates, about three or four candidates, give them a quick, uh, a quick uh, um, interview, and then hire them for about, again, 20% of what they would cost. And it's actually more efficient, it's better. And uh, me and my partner happened to create a full course about that for our clients. Uh, but because you're attending this webinar, uh, you can email me uh, at this email in the chat. So Robbie at Primatica.com. Uh, Just email me. Uh, please send me uh, the hiring course uh, and I'll send it to you personally. Uh, it's really a comprehensive course on everything from uh, how for, for free, by the way. Uh, it's a comprehensive one hour course on everything from how to qualify your candidates, how to find them, how to get a ton of them in the bucket, uh, how to get them filtered, how to discuss salary, uh, how to start working with them, how to interview and see which ones are better or worse. And we've really perfected this. I mean, we've reached a point where we can find high quality developers, uh, high quality design artists, genius marketing people for again, 20% of the price in about two or three days. Um, and uh, this is really one of the ways that we've built this company is by using what we call like human automation. Uh, now, the other part of what we've built uh, is the automation side. So when you're able to control simple processes like uh, software like Zapier or Integromat, uh, which again is something that I'd be happy to work with you on you with, uh, you can actually automate processes extremely uh, simply. And when you're able to do that or hire, alternatively use our hiring course to hire really cheap developers that will cost you a few hundred dollars a month and would literally develop amazing projects for you, uh, you can then start to automate and delegate different parts of your process. So the scraping part, you can automate or delegate that. The, uh, the uh, part where you reach out, where you schedule a call, send emails, you can delegate it. You can have somebody do the call instead of you. You can have somebody um, uh, send out the email instead of you. You can create an automation for that. And again, this is really our proficiency. This is what we're good at. This is what we do. And I'm going to talk about that later. Um, once you actually did that, once you've actually been able to kind of uh, automate or delegate the entire process, you're then not able to scale it as much as you want. Because imagine now you have a process, it's your own process, it's 10 times cheaper than anything else you have, it's the most effective process in the world, you can actually improve it all the time, it's custom tailored to you, uh, and the best part about it is uh, now it's fully scalable. Because now if you wanna scale it, all you have to do is either add more cheap labor, which has like an insane ROI, uh, or you need to uh, just, bump up the numbers in the automation. So for example, because we, uh, at the beginning for our email sending, we actually had a, an employee that would like, literally we had like 50 cloud computers and we had an employee from India that we paid like $200 a month that would literally just have to click and start 50 computers every single day just to have this work. And at this point, everything is automated. So that means that we can go like, we can go from zero to 40,000 emails per day uh, on, on about a three hour notice. Uh, if I build it for myself, I can do it in about 20 minutes. And that's really how efficient we've made this process out to be. Uh, imagine that, just going from zero to sending out 40,000 targeted emails to any industry you want uh, in, in, in 20 to 40 minutes. Uh, and that's, that's really the, the magic and the amazing power of building your own outreach process and really there's nothing you can compare. There's nothing you can tell me that would even clo come close to comparing to this. Finally, uh, now that you have the process, now that you've been able to scale it up, uh, this is where you can actually um, start scaling and start growing very, very fast. And we've done that. And, and again, that's how we went from zero to more than 50 clients in just a couple of months uh, with again, really stopping most of the time just to handle all of the incoming new clients. Um, and we're planning to go to 100 by the end of this month and probably probably 1,000 by the end of the year uh, because we finally built the infrastructure to uh, go in that route. Now, this has been really an, an amazing journey for me. And um, when you do that, when you scale like that, it's very important that you pay attention to a lot of stuff. It's very important that you pay attention uh, to that you don't have any bottlenecks. Um, 
bottlenecks are going to kill you. And really, if you're offering a service-based business, this is where you really want somebody like me with experience to help you kind of guide you on how to go from those 10 clients to 50 clients without crashing and burning, uh, what to prepare ahead of time, how to build the right processes, the right manuals for that, uh, as well as the parts of the, of the actual outreach that are not automatic. So for example, the last thing that we uh, automated was making the sales call super, super easy. Uh, and this took us two, three months to, to even think about uh, and get done. Uh, and this saved me so much time. I mean, I went from doing like 45 minute to one hour sales calls to doing a 10, 15 minute call. And that person basically pays at the end with about 40% closing rate. Why? Because I, I, I automated, I actually consolidated the part of the process. So instead of them getting an email, replying, and then getting a short demo, then going on a call, then having me explain the whole thing, uh, they basically send in, like we send them an email, they reply, they see the whole thing. But again, I've been able to do that because I've done 300 plus sales calls and know how to explain about my, my product and services in a really compelling way that answers every single question at this point. Uh, that's why I've been able to consolidate it and basically compress what would have been uh, uh, 100 hours of my time every month to only about 10 hours a month to get the exact same results and actually attract even better, higher paying clients. So uh, we, at this point, we pretty much uh, wrapped up the lecture part of this webinar. Uh, feel free to send any questions here in the chat or below if you have any, um, and I'm going to reply to them quickly. Uh, but before that, I want to talk to you about the offer. So obviously it's a webinar. Uh, at the end of the webinar, there's always an offer. And what I want to offer you is a chance to actually work with me. So this is not something that I offer. You know, I haven't done coaching, uh, business coaching, or any kind of coaching in about two and a half years. I mean, at this point, my time is just too valuable. I don't have time to own and manage a full company as well as do that, which is why I'm offering it to only three people. It's a very time limited offer. And what I'm offering is to basically work with you over about five meetings uh, where we go together uh, over a few weeks um, and build this process together. So it's a five week process, five meetings, and we're gonna build everything together. So I'm gonna help you uh, with the step-by-step -step strategy to execute this 10x war plan. And by the way, I'm putting up the uh, at the top, you can actually see here the uh, button you can click on to go to actual payment page to get started with this. Uh, I'm offering a step-by-step -step process to work with you. I'm gonna work with you hand in hand. We're gonna build this entire process together, just you and me. We're gonna get, you're gonna get a ton of attention from us. Again, we have 20 employees, so we're gonna have a lot of backup if needed. We have designers, we have marketing people. We're going to get, give you every single resource that you need uh, to help you build your own cold outreach process. Now, I guarantee you at the end of this process, at the end of the year, you're going to 10x your investment. You're going to reach a point uh, where instead of finishing this year because of Corona and the lockdowns and all that mess, instead of finishing and saying, oh, fuck, I've lost 2020, you know, and I'm stuck here and, and my, my referrals are down 30 percent, my ads are down 70 percent. I guarantee you we're going to get you 10x results on what you pay. This is going to be the most amazing process of your life. You're going to learn everything from how to sell, how to market yourself, how to build the offer, how to pitch it, uh, how to build this process, how to automate every single part of the process. And again, you're going to get five meetings with me. We're going to take as much time as necessary in these meetings. I'm going to be available for you for questions and answers as much as you need. You can feel free to email me, text me, anything that you need. We'll be there for you. We'll have the resources of our company to help you with that. You'll be able to use our scraping process, which can get you tens of thousands of leads of any type of industry that you want of any location. So we'll already be starting off with a huge database. And on that, we'll also not limit you at all. Uh, this is, again, extremely uh, limited in availability, offering it to only three people today. So if that sounds something good, if you, it sounds like something that you'd like to work with me, you like my energy, you believe that I can help you, I guarantee you this will be the best investment you've made in this entire year. It will completely transform your business and the way that you work. And the only question you'll be asking yourself now is how do I handle all of these extra clients uh, that I have now? And again, that's something that will help you with as well. So now we've done that, uh, let's go to the questions and answers. Uh, if anybody got any questions, this is the time to, to ask uh, because we'll be finishing really, really soon. Uh, so I'm seeing a question from Grace. What if your no bottleneck is limited number of prospects or industry specific? So uh, if you have a very limited number of prospects, let's say that you have uh, only a thousand prospects in the entire United States, 
what I would suggest to you is you need to change your focus. You cannot build a thriving, growing, powerful business if you only focus on one vertical and that vertical is very small. You want to have a powerful business. You want to have a business that can withstand crises like coronavirus. You need a lot of clients. They say that the most dangerous number in business is one. You know, one employee, super dangerous. One client, super dangerous. Uh, one type of industry, super dangerous. You want to really, really avoid that uh, because, again, I've worked with tons of clients this year uh, where their business just crashed. I mean, Corona started and they've lost like 70% of their client base, just cut off at the neck uh, immediately. And uh, that's what happens when you're dependent on one industry. So you want to make sure that you're targeting at least a couple of verticals, so at least two or three industries, and that your target audience is big. If you only have a 1,000 targets in the world, uh, first of all, that means that they're the prize, not you, because there's barely any people to sell to. And secondly, it means that you're not going to be on the offense. You're not going to be able to really just 10x your efforts because you'll always be worried about what's going to happen next. You know, is somebody, if if I make a bad impression, would that person then talk about me to other people? And and then I'll lose like 200 potential clients out of 1,000. Uh, you don't want that. You really want to expand your industries, expand your market, expand your offers, how soon after someone accepts your LinkedIn connection should you message them? Any suggestions on the message? Um, yeah, sure. I'll be happy to demonstrate that right now. So uh, let me show you a quick example of what we found over uh, about sending about 5 e million emails every month. What we found just works the absolute best. Uh, so what we found works the best in terms of your uh, approach is something like this. Whenever you approach somebody from anywhere, uh, your approach should be like, hey, uh, like, hey, this is, and then uh, your name, and then you could, you don't have to, from company. You don't have to write your company's name, but you can do it. Um, and then you want to start with uh, how you got to them. And by the way, where did I learn to do this? I learned how to do this by doing cold calling, actually. That's where I learned how to actually do a good process. Um, so uh, you first of all, they want to know who you are. So I start off with who I am. Then they want to know... Uh, how you got their number or how you got to them. How did you get to me? And if you don't are not able to answer that question quickly, you're going to have a lot of trouble. So just be honest. Like, uh, I uh, I found your company. Uh, and again, you can actually be personalized. You're, you're, I found uh, your company. Um, and, then you, and then you can say, while uh, looking for uh, roofing contractors uh, in L.A., uh, and wanted to send a quick message. So just how did you find me? Where, how did you get to me? Second thing you want to, next thing you want to explain is you want to give them like what, what's called like a good, good, good pitch. And most companies, again, even marketing agencies just have no idea how to pitch themselves. Uh, so the way that you pitch is what you do is you, um, by the way, before, before that, yeah, okay. So you get a pitch. How you pitch, you basically tell them a guarantee, something big. Uh, I'm contacting you because I believe I can uh, get you a 358% increase in your um, uh, conversions. Let's say it's a website, it's a website conversions uh, in 30 to 60 days. Now, now that you've pitched, uh, the person is interested. And before we continue with this, let me say once again, guys, limited time offer. If you're interested in working personally with me, let me pull up the thing again here. Just click on this button. You can actually go to it later. Uh, now let's go back to the recording. Um, so, sorry for that. <laughs> so um, I'm contacting you and then this is the pitch. And now after you pitch, uh, the next part that you want to do is kind of like a quick qualifier about you, about your company. Uh, we're a local web design uh, company that specializes uh, in uh, XYZ and has a 99%, uh, let's say 100% success rate with uh, companies like, and then the name of the company. Um, and then here you want to have the bait. So, and again, this is the format you want to have in, in, in a cold email, in a LinkedIn message, in a, in a text message, in a cold call, any type of warm of cold contact needs to have these things in there. Uh, because again, if you miss even one of them, the person's going to think, Oh, who is he? Or why should I pay attention to him? Or, 
or uh, you know, how do I how I know how I can trust them? And again, this answers who you are, uh, how you found me, uh, why should I why should I listen to you? How can I know I trust you? And finally, a bait, a really really good bait. Um, uh, I'd like to send you a quick video uh, explaining uh, a quick uh, two three minute video explaining exactly how I can do that for your company. Uh, and then the magic words, uh, can I send it to you? Or are you the right person to receive this? Or another one is, um, are you interested in, in this? You always want to end with a question. Always, 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 always end cold calling, cold emailing, whatever it is, always end it with a question. Because if you don't, if it's not like a yes or no, or a very simple sure, or 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 um, again, just a very simple limited answer, then you're not going to get half or even a quarter as many replies because it's too open-ended to, to reply. And then finally, uh, the name, so Robbie Frank, Primatica. And then if you really want to go personal, you can uh, put in your number. So this is how you do uh, cold outreach contacting. Uh, sorry for that. Okay. Yes, uh, Alex very much like the answer. Okay, awesome. Uh, guys, if there are no more answers, we'll be finishing the podcast, the webinar right now. Um, again, thank you so much for attending. Again, I'll give like half a minute more for last questions. Again, you have the offer here at the top. Uh, let me also add here the link uh, just in case so you can review it. I'm going to put it right here in the chat. So here you go. Uh, this is the 10x consulting package with me. I'm looking forward to working with you, helping you 10x your investment and get a massive, massive boost in your business growth and your personal growth as a business owner at the end of this year. Thank you so much and have pleasure to meeting with you. Pleasure talking to you. Feel free to subscribe to webinars with me. You'll probably have that option in one of the emails that you got from me, uh, and there you can actually um, you can actually uh, uh, keep following in case I do an another webinar, which I'll probably do. Uh, thanks, Alex. Really had fun with you guys, and looking forward to working with some of you. Thank you, and have a great rest of your day.